Hello again, I am Fluff, back in War Thunder, bringing you a game I thought you might find quite interesting. One where I was trying to get accustomed to the LA-5. Now it was late in the game and I was flying cover for an IL-2 because I'd gotten back to the party a bit late, and I was waiting for a MiG-3 on our team to repair and refuel. The enemy team were basically doing the same thing. As soon as the MiG-3 let me know he was ready, I broke off my little uh, top cover patrol and went to hook up with him. At this point, I noticed that both of the 109s were flying in as well. So, it's two on two, but we knew that there was another enemy plane in the area as well, a Fock Wolf, but we didn't know exactly where, so you deal with the problem that's in front of you. My aim was to get on the 6 of this MiG-3 and be his wingman, so I got as much altitude as I felt I needed and just kept a little bit behind him to observe. Now you'll see he goes through on his attack run. He wasn't very successful, I don't think he landed any hits, but he definitely succeeded in snagging one of those 109s. He got one very firmly on his tail, and my initial instinct to go after the other one was curtailed in the interest of keeping Mr. MiG-3 alive for as long as possible. This is one thing I happen to love about the LA-5 is it is definitely good at turning, certainly it is able to turn inside of a 109 at its sort of ideal altitude. This is a mid-altitude fight. So I go in on this 109 as he goes in on the MiG-3. Any other plane I would not be able to uh, manage this with combat flaps, I managed to come around inside of him and I've got a pair of 20mm Shavak cannons that are very ready to say hello. And that's strafing through the cockpit, job done. I immediately turn in on the other 109 and uh, foil his attempt to strafe the living daylights out of me in response. Now just as I go in on the attack for that other 109, Mr. Fopwolf 190 shows up and sprays me and he actually got my engine, he completely critted it right then and there. So I am now gliding. I tried not to panic, I started doing defensive maneuvers, made sure to turn into attacks, and, uh, you know, tried to remember that I can still fight. Uh, at this altitude, you can try to get back on the ground, but you're just going to be easy prey, and besides which, this MiG-3 definitely still needed my help. So I got on the tail of the 190 that was chasing the MiG, and uh, tried to snipe away at him. This is a problem with those... Um, 20mm Shuvax is that they don't have a huge amount of ammunition so you can't just spray willy-nilly. Wasn't too concerned about the 109 because he didn't seem to be doing anything particularly useful. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to save the MiG-3. A toaster in his 190 thought he'd uh, try and make it two for two and comes round on a head-on attack run. I think I have nothing to lose so I just opened up on him. Turns out that was a good decision, and I'm still alive. Unfortunately, the 109 is still very much uh, active. He is undamaged and at full efficiency, whereas I am now trailing smoke, and I now have wing damage, as well as fuselage damage and no engine. I'm not an idiot, though, so I keep doing my manoeuvres. I keep turning into his attacks. Uh, he would have whittled me down, I'm pretty sure, because... He was getting the odd hit every now and again, and it's just piling up. That damage will just pile up and uh, result in you going in hard. Unfortunately for him, that particular run missed, and I don't know what he was doing afterwards. I guess trying to get back into position, and he met the ill two, uh, and it was not a happy meeting. They both died. What that did mean, though, was that we won, because I was the only plane left alive on either team right at this point and all I needed to do was come to a little nice landing where I was to win the game which I managed. Admittedly I hit a tree but you know you can't do it perfectly every time. So yeah impressed by the durability of the LA-5 in this instance even if I don't particularly like the plane. That'll be all from me for now however so thanks for watching and take care.